Misha here. So today I'm going to redo the November pouring challenge. I took December off because, you know, it's Christmas, I have kids, uh, work, big project at work. So I decided to take it easier on myself and uh, do videos after Christmas. So first of the year, time to get back into it. And I've loved the November pouring challenge and I really wanted to do another take on it. So I'm still going to do the same uh, technique. I've got some white right here to cover my canvas with first. I will be doing a dirty pour with four different colors and that's where I really want to change things up. So I've got some Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Peacock Pearl. I've got uh, Deco Art Dazzling Metallics again, uh, teal. And then I've got a Folk Art Copper. And I've got a Folk Art Garnet. So I've got them all mixed up and I have a little bit of silicone in each. Uh, I try to put just about a drip, a drop in each one, but it tends to be get a little bit more. Um, I really wanted less um, cells than I got on my last one, but we'll see how that turns out. And I also chose metallics for everything because uh, Christmas was really good for me and I got a lot of paints. And so now I'm kind of on a paint overload. There's so many colors and so many options to choose from that I had a really hard time dwindling that down to uh, just a few and of course I just really wanted to go with the metallics because they're so fun. So I'm going to pour my white on first and get that spread all over. I'm going to do my dirty pour with all of these colors. I'm going to pour this one first, then second, then we've got the copper third and the garnet fourth. And I'm going to do two, I think I'm going to do two pours of each. And I think I'm going to start in this corner and bring it around, but I really want to come off the corner. So I think what I'm going to do is once I drop the cup, I poke a hole in the top of it. I'm going to let it pour out a little bit this way, drag it around, and then I'm going to tip it first uh, towards this corner and then let it pull down that way. So we'll see what it turns out like. Sometimes I have the best of intents and sometimes I just get lost and I do something completely different. So we'll see where we go from here. So let's get started. Okay, got the white in, ooh, covered in it. I should have done my dirty pour first. Oh well, so I'm gonna have to show that. Here we go, pouring about half. 
Do my second blue. This is the teal. It's about half. Let's go with copper. Garnet. Garnet. Go back to the teal. And go back to the blue. Ooh, that looks cool in there. Nope, I had a little drips. That's all right. This looks so cool in the cup. So cool. That copper is just separating so cool. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to show you. I'm going to put this down. I totally forgot to get a pin for, ugh, I'm getting this chair out of the way, um, a pin for the cup, so here we go, nice that I have one real close, dude, that copper is going to look so cool, I'm really excited about this, okay, ready, set, oh, this always makes me nervous, flip, oh, dang it, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to, all right, I'm gonna poke a hole. This always is a little more difficult than I think it should be. I'm doing one more hole. Ooh, it does look cool though. So let's kind of slide this around in this corner and bring it up. And ooh, that's what I did last time. I really want it to, I should have poured it. Dang it. Oh, well, you learn something new each time. Holy camoly. And I need a lot less paint. Look at how cool that looks. Man, that is so cool. Oh, I'm gonna love this. I think I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna pour it, like I said, I'm gonna come off this corner. Jeez, and Pete's, that is so freaking cool. I don't want to do too much. Oh, but man, that is so neat. Oh, metallic -y. I'm going to bring it back this way. I don't even know. I don't know what to do. What do I want to do? You know what, there is some really cool selling going on right up here, right in here. It makes me want to just leave it alone, although I do need to go back to this corner again. Come on. Go all the way to the corner, come on. Wow, this is some crazy colors. You know, I don't really know what's happening right here. I had a little kind of coming off this way and I wish it was just gone, but we will see what happens. All right, I've got some, look what's happening over there. I've got this little, there we go. All right. I think it's time 
to grab out. I'm gonna end up doing this one again because I really think I need a lot less paint of the metallic paint. And I really just wanna see this neat little strip. So I'm gonna have to pour it instead of dump it, instead of pull it up, pull and drag. Um, pull and drag, whatever, the drag technique. Um, this is not covered on the corner. Uh, so I think I'm gonna pour it next time I do this. So we'll do another one uh, in January, in the next few weeks, that will be um, less. And I think I'm gonna go like all blue and green on that one. Maybe not so many metallics, although this is so crazy cool looking. Um, look at how it's just pursing. Whoosh, that is neat. Oh, look, I dropped some more paint on my canvas. Dag nab it. Uh, okay. Whew, look at that. That was so cool. Yeah, let's get set, let's get the torch on this sucker and see what happens. Wow. All right, let's see what this is going to do now. We'll start in this corner where just the white is. Oh, this is going to go crazy nuts. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Holy camole. All right, well, I didn't want as many <laughs> cells. I sure as heck got enough of them. Let's see it. I don't like them on the edge. Ooh. Holy camole, this is so crazy. God, my flame is getting bigger and bigger. Turn that down before I catch something on fire. Come on. There we go. I'm sure you can see this on the camera. If you can't see this on the camera, then I need a new camera. Holy camole, that's so cool. Holy camole. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boom. Well, I didn't want a ton of cells. I got a billion cells, but because of the metallic, it looks so Flippin' cool! Looks like some kind of reptile skin or... I don't even know, it's out of this world. It is so neat. So neat. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys closer. Let me see if I can get this focused enough. Check that out. Look at this, looks like flowers up here. That little. See, this is where it starts looking real scaly. Super cool. Man. Oh, 
Look at how neat that is. Man, that is so neat. 